Hi everyone. Today in class we're going to be making a scaled diagram of the structure of the Earth. This video is just to show you how to get the process started. It takes a little bit of doing to get it started, but once it is started I think you'll find it quite easy. We'll start with two sheets of A3 paper. We'll line them up as you can see in the video so that they make at least a length of 70 centimeters. We'll stick them together with some sticky tape and then flip them over so that the sticky tape is facing down. We don't want to be coloring in over the top of sticky tape. We're now going to mark off a point over to the left hand side of our sheet, around about the middle on the left hand side of the sheet, which is going to symbolically represent the very center of the earth. So that little cross there is going to represent the very center of the earth. We're going to use string to mark out our distances, to mark out our surface of the Earth and our layers of the Earth. These will be curved because the Earth is a sphere. And the string will act as a compass for us. We'll place a pencil in one end at a loop and we'll measure out the strings of various different lengths. The first length we'll look for is 63.7 centimeters, which in our scale matches the Earth's radius of 6,371 kilometers. And we'll mark in an arc, as we see here. Now we'll mark it in nice and light because this is going to be a construction line. And we'll have to be putting in quite a few construction lines as we go. And we'll want them to be light so we can erase the ones that we don't want. The next thing we'll need is a nice long straight line from the center of the Earth all the way out to the surface of the Earth. And we'll be marking in on this line the various distances that we want to use. So those distances that we want to use can be found in the table in our instruction sheet, which is in today's lesson. And each of the distances in centimetres is the depth down to that significant feature from the surface of the Earth. So we'll take careful note of each of those and mark them in on our central line from the centre of the Earth out to the surface. Mark each one in so we know how long to make our string compass when marking off those features. As an example, the first marker that we want to put in is at 0.35 centimeters. And this marks off the thickness of the crust down from the surface of the earth. Once we've marked that in on our construction line, we want to mark in one centimeter. And this is going to mark off the thickness of the lithosphere down from the surface of the Earth. We're going to mark off 6.7 centimetres, which gives us the base of the upper mantle. 28.9 centimetres gives us the borderline between the core and the mantle. And then we're going to get down to 51.6 centimetres, which gives us the boundary between the inner core and the outer core. So we're marking each of these significant boundaries or locations on that central line we went from the centre of the Earth out to the surface. And each of these markers there is going to be useful for us as we get our string compass out to mark off the curves for those locations. We'll do each of these curves nice and light because we'll use part of the curve, but we'll erase part of the curve. So these are still construction lines that we're putting together. So that's the hard part of the video and it should get you started. Once you've got in all of those curve construction lines, the rest of it's pretty simple. You draw in a couple of lines to be the edges of your pie segment for the structure of the earth. Here's the finished product I had from uh, when I put it together. You want to label everything, color in the different layers, and then once you're completed with all of that, give it a good title and put in some notes as to the features, the structural features of each of those different layers. And that'll give us our scaled diagram for the structure of the Earth. I hope that was helpful.